Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Janelle and I have functional neurological disorder and anxiety as it turns out. So who saw that one coming? Um, this is my channel. I'm trying to get better and learning things about myself along the way and also like spiraling a bit, but it's okay because it's all progress. So if you don't know what functional neurological disorder is, it is basically like a software issue with your brain. So the hardware is all fine. Nothing shows up on any imaging. It's just like you need a software upgrade, but you have no internet and it won't, it won't upgrade. So last week I went and I saw my functional neurological disorder specialist. He told me that I have anxiety, which <laughs> I kind of figured that one out on my own, but to have someone else verify it. And he also noted that he could tell that I have really low self-esteem and self-worth. And it's very true, <laughs> very stinking true. So I need to work on that. So 2023, it's going to be a big year for me. I don't normally set resolutions. I think they're stupid, but setting a resolution, <laughs> this is my year to get better. So today I'm at a park that's kind of near my parents' house. It's maybe like a 30 minute drive. So we're all out walking. My niece and nephews are somewhere back there with my parents and their mom. And I'm just trudging ahead. There's a coffee shop here in town. So I'm gonna grab a coffee and then double back and meet them. Um, round trip, probably like four miles for me. This is a seven mile trail, but I'm not gonna be, be doing the whole thing today. Anyway, I was, I was kind of like powering, power walking, you know, trying to get my heart rate up and I guess it worked. <sighs> Exercise is good for the brain. It's good for your mental health and I love walking, so if I'm having a good day and I can do this, it's something I just really enjoy doing. I love the freedom of not having anything around you and just being able to think. It's nice being out here. So I think I might start doing like a daily vlog, but don't quote me on that because it probably won't be daily, probably won't even be weekly, but I have this list I came up with of things to do every day to try to get better. Little things like going for a walk, physiotherapy, mindfulness, meditation, mindful breathing, just things to keep myself balanced. So I think I might bring you guys along um, this year of my life to see if I can kick this and to see how those things help throughout the year and see if I can get kind of back on my feet. So for my parents' housewarming, I got them this hammock. It's the same one I have at the cabin and you see a lot of footage of it now because I spend 80% of my day sitting in this chair. This is where I meditate. It's where I listen to therapy videos that I find on YouTube. It's just, it's my place and I'm here all the time. <laughs> Sometimes Corduroy comes and joins me in the chair and we'll swing together. <laughs> he loves sitting in the sunshine. I love sitting in the sunshine. It works out really well. This is just what we do every day. A large amount of my time spent here has also been in planning my mom's 30th surprise party. <laughs> it went well. So, here's a fun one for all of you. I cut my hair yesterday. My hair's never been wavy before. And now, like, look at this. Like, what on earth? I mean, I'm liking it, but... This is so weird. And also yesterday, I did a photo session and I hadn't done one, like a legit one in a, a good while because of everything going on. So like getting back out there, it was a little scary. I questioned a lot of what I did. Working on that self-esteem is hard. It's really hard. It's okay. Let it out, buddy. Oh. 
That's a good job. <laughs> That's a good job. So yeah, the mental health's been doing okay. I did start therapy again. I'm using Talkspace this time instead of BetterHelp. I wasn't sure that I would like just texting with a therapist, but... But it's not bad, I guess, you know? At least I don't have to do my hair. I've also decided that I am going to go finish the Camino this year. I've really been working on my mental health and on my anxiety and that's, that's what broke me last time. Like I just couldn't not be anxious. Like I couldn't rest, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. It was horrible, but it's still something that I really wanna do. So I'm gonna go do it. I also flew to my doctor's appointment on my own and that was a little, that was a little rough. <laughs> but I did it and the flight was fine. And I think that's what I needed, you know, it was like a good, comfortable, easy flight to get on again, to not be so worried about it. Yeah, so last time I tried to do the Camino, like I landed, I slept that, I slept, slept that night and then I went. And at this time, I'm going to give myself more time to like acclimate to the time change. I'm going to um, be more patient with myself. Like if I feel like I need to rest, I'm going to take that extra day. And if I feel like giving up, I'm not just gonna book a flight home. I'll just take a day off or a two days off or a week off or however long I need to. And then I'll start again because like around the time that I flew home this last time, I was like, Wow, I wish I hadn't bought that ticket because now I have to go back home. And if I had just stuck it out a little bit longer, I feel like I could have done more or maybe even finished it. But like when your body's reacting so badly to everything around you, it's scary. And the only thing you want is to be home and be safe. All right, I'm about to do something fun with my mom. She's not gonna have fun, but I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, I bought rollerblades because I'm not almost 40. And <laughs> I'm a pro at it, or at least I was when I was 16. So we're gonna go see how many bones I can break, but don't worry, I have a helmet, I have wrist, elbow, and knee pads, and I'm gonna hold my mommy's hand, so. You're not gonna hold your mommy's hand. I'm not gonna roll or go walk that fast. I thought you were gonna run. <laughs> no. Here goes nothing. This is so scary. And you're off. recommend these huge moxie knee pads it's coming down this it's deeper than it looks and I kept gaining speed and there's this double curve here and I was like nope this would be where I die <laughs> so I stuck my wheels in the grass you can probably see the lines my right knee stayed up my left knee rode the grass but I am fine <laughs> I guess I'm not returning these though I'm good, Ma! <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you on the next one.